everyone. Welcome to the channel if you're new or welcome if welcome back if you're returning. Sorry, I don't know why I couldn't say that. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be testing out some new makeup. So if you're excited to see some of the new products that I recently just bought in a haul that I just posted not too long ago, which will be linked in the description box, then keep watching. On my face, I have already exfoliated um, and I also applied a moisturizer from Shop Missy. I would try and put it up on the screen which one it is because off the top of my head, I just, I can't remember. This is the Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Hold Primer. It's a fast absorbing, lightweight, water-based primer that instantly hydrates skin. Okay, that came out running quick. So it is a white, uh, white color. Its consistency is very runny, as we can see. It was running straight off of my face. Applying it seemed really smooth and easy. I didn't have a problem. Uh, but now that it's like absorbing more into my skin, it is feeling a little bit tacky. Oh, my cosmetics flawless brightening concealer is a lightweight concealer infused with key ingredients to conceal uneven skin tones and under eye shadows. <laughs> click to get product out which is unfortunate but like I just clicked a bunch of times and there's nothing coming out oh okay there I clicked way too many times and there's a lot of product on there okay so it's blended out everywhere um, underneath the eyes uh, I, I can still see a little bit of my dark circles peeking through right here in the inside um, it is a little bit on the brightening side just a hint not too I much. was going to go off camera and do this part, but I've been using this off camera. I didn't do a first impression because I was really excited to use it. It's the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This one is in the shade called Tan Lines, and I have to say that I really, really like this one. I do, I do have to mention, I do, I do have to mention that this is on the lighter, lighter, like really light application. So you really have to build this one up, but I don't really mind that. The way that I've been applying this one, um, this brush is from a Shop Masse. It's their AOA Studio brand. This is part of their Rose Gold Brush Collection. This one is F31. It's meant to be for blending out cream blushes. Almost said brushes. No, cream blushes. I've been using this for cream blushes. I don't like it. I think it makes my blush fade. Um, I think it also pulls up some of the foundation underneath my cheek. So it got me thinking, if it doesn't work for blush, I keep wanting to say brush, what about bronzer? So then I was like, this is a perfect fit for right in my bronzer. And it is. This works beautifully for this bronzer. Makeup Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. This one is supposed to be smooth and improves elasticity of skin while giving you a gorgeous luminous glow. Apply less for a natural radiance or build it up for a blinding highlight. This one has a very difficult top. <laughs> Uh, this one has the puffy, sort of like spongy ap uh, applicator. This one is in Shope Champagne. It's the lightest color option. It's more of like a light gold, which I love my gold highlighters. Okay, trying to see if I can get anything. There's nothing coming out of that. I don't want it to be another e.l.f. concealer situation. It's kind of looking a little splotchy here, the way that I'm applying it from the applicator on my nose. So it applied on my cheeks nicely. I can see this glow here. It's a nice, like, soft, subtle glow. It's pretty, but it's not, I think, like, my favorite right now. Here is the Fit Colors Chameleon Liquid Eyeshadow Duo or Multi Chrome. This one is in the shade 02. It's supposed to be long lasting, transparent. It says film formation, one stroke on the color, smooth and comfortable texture, good color rendering effect. So my just quick soft transition shade, I'm taking from my weekly makeup drawer eyeshadow palette, LA Colors Bare, and I'm going to go for this very soft neutral brown shade. I'm going to start lightly and then keep building up as needed. So I'm going to apply it all over my lid, is apply that there. I'm going to maybe tap it out with my finger. So tapping this out with my finger is definitely blending it out, but it's giving this like murky color. It is drying real quick and it's getting kind of tacky too. 
Oh yeah, no, look at that. That blended out completely and it's all over my fingers. So I just want to see if maybe applying more and patting it on is going to do anything for this shadow. Okay, yeah, so definitely do not tap it because it is it is definitely coming up coming off. Okay, I got a brush. I'm gonna see if maybe this applies better. I'm literally trying everything to make this darn thing work. <laughs> first impression thoughts on all of the new makeup. I'm including some of the newer products that I've been trying um, off camera, but the first product in today's video is the Makeup Revolution Hydrate Primer. Um, yeah, this is a primer. I don't really feel like it hydrated my skin. Um, I feel like it's more of, it's a lightweight primer. It definitely stuck onto my face, stuck into it. But yeah, my foundation looks a lot better around my nose area and in between my brows than it has been the past couple of times that I've been using this. This is not really like a first impressions because I've already done a video on this one, but this foundation, um, just want to give, you know, updates on it throughout the usage, but I've been writing this one down, how I've been using it, um, trying to remember to take pictures or videos, but I've been forgetting about that lately, but this foundation is a decent one. It's not amazing, it's not like wow it's something you've got to go out and buy right away sometimes i've said before in the very first video i did this well the only video i did about this one that there was some not a, that was showing dry patches on my cheek area that i know i didn't have before but i did it was my mistake i realized that i didn't exfoliate my face prior to it and that is what caused that so that was on me but i did exfoliate and that did fix those problematic areas it really likes to clean and create dry patches around my nose and between my brows, sometimes on the chin area, but not too uh, much. Next up is the concealer. This one, it applied fine. Um, definitely still see some dark circles peeking through. It is creasing. That is okay. That is normal. When it's on my face, it did blend out fine. There's no problems. Uh, the color match, I think, was fine. It can't really tell a difference too much. There is some brightening aspect underneath my eyes, which... I don't really care for a brightening concealer. I want something that's going to hide my dark circles rather than brighten them up some more. Next up is the highlighter. Again, this is the Makeup Revolution Bright Light Highlighter. Um, this one, it applied fine. Didn't have any trouble. It didn't pick up any foundation or anything underneath it. Um, it is there. It's a very soft glow. Um, you know, in different like ways that I turn, you can definitely see it. So it is on the lighter side. It does look n nice. Um, it is kind of picking up some of the texture on my face, which I don't find that to be happening to or with my e.l.f. highlighter. So it's also another like, okay product. Um, not really a first impression since I didn't try this on camera. I was just kind of testing it on my own off camera, but I really love this bronzer. Um, this one definitely needs building up, but it definitely gives you that nice like soft bronzer effect. And I have no problems with blending it. I have no problems with staying power. The shade is perfect. And I think this is kind of almost equal to my wet one. And the last product that gave me the most trouble out of this entire video is the liquid eyeshadow from Timu. Oh boy, this one I tried to apply on my lid, and you can see in the video that it was completely coming apart, it was becoming sticky, it was drying really quick. Um, the more layers that I added, the more that it was just separating and not wanting to stick to my lid. I couldn't blend it out, that was really difficult. Um, I will have to continuously test this out. I ended up doing just like a really easy like graphic liner. They are not equal, they are very wonky compared to each other, but um, this one definitely took a lot of layers to get this. Um, this one I had trouble with, you can see, because it's not like completely like smooth as this one. Um, the shift is there. I don't know if you can see in certain lighting, you can see where it shifts to green, to an orange, like a red. So it is there in that aspect. Application wise was big pain in the butt. So, so far I am just not excited to use this. That is everything in today's video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. What are your thoughts? Do you like some of these? Do you hate some of these? Have you found any winners makeup-wise on Timu? And let me know in the comments down below. I would love to chat with you there. And as always, have an awesome rest of your day and your week. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>